wheelchair to the patient, um, there are important dimensions that we need to take on the patient and take on the chair and find the best fit between uh, the two. So most patients will use custom-made wheelchair actually, not like this one. Uh, so we can adjust the dimension or even sometimes for wheelchairs like these, there are certain uh, things that can be adjusted like the angles, depending on the design, even the width or the uh, distance from the wheel. So I will just mention the briefly the very basic things here. Um, we will do four measurements on our patient and we need to take uh, them into consideration with the chair. The, uh, one of the measurements will be the pelvis width for the patient. And this one is very important uh, to um, compare with the width of the chair, which is the distance between those two teeth bars here. Okay. Um, whenever we do the measurement uh, for the patient, of course, the chair cannot be any narrower than the pelvis width for the patient. It can be a little bit wider, but not too much, because if it is too wide, then when propelling the chair, the, the patient's shoulders will be at a disadvantaged position. That's why we usually try to keep two fingers width on either side uh, for the patient to sit comfortably, like for example, with winter clothing or if they have something in their pocket. So uh, we keep we, uh, the measurement of their pelvis width. Uh, we add to it two fingers on either side and that will be the measurement of the seat width. The other measurement will be the back height. And for the back height, uh, of course, it depends on the level of the injury. So the higher the injury, we will have the higher uh, the back. And um, then uh, if with low injuries, if the patient is going to propel their wheelchair, well, that's supposedly what they should be doing, then we need to clear the inferior angle of the scapula so they can move their arm freely. That's why we will take the second measurement from the uh, inferior angle of the scapula to the uh, sitting area. And we will correlate this with the back height. Of course, when taking the back height measurement, we need to take into consideration the cushion. So we usually should have the cushion on the chair and then do the measurement. Because if the cushion is this thick, then the patient will be sitting here actually, and this will be the distance we measure. The other measurement is the um, thigh length. And this is from the back of the back to the uh, back of the knee. And this measurement is important for the depth of the seat here. And uh, why is it important? Because say for example, the chair is much longer than the patient's legs. So whenever they are sitting on the chair, the sitting area here will be rubbing against their knee if it is too uh, long. And so this might cause pressure injury on the back of the knee. And if it is too short, then the patient's feet will be dangling like this. And this way, um, there will be uneven pressure distribution. The last measurement I will talk about is the leg length. And for this one, we need to measure the distance from the back of the knee to the uh, floor. And we need to correlate it with the distance from the top of the cushion the patient is sitting on to the uh, footrest. And this is important because if it is too short, like the distance on the chair is shorter than the uh, patient's leg length, then the um, legs will be at an elevated angle. So this will cause uneven or increase the pressure on the ischial tuberosities. If the distance on the chair is much longer than the patient's leg, so they, then the leg will be uh, dangling down, or this might even cause uh, plantar flexion deformity. These are the important measurements we need to consider. I will demonstrate them now and we need to remember that we should do them on both sides actually, the right and the left. And if there is any discrepancy, then maybe this means that the patient is not sitting upright or not sitting symmetrically. So we need to fix it, uh, fix the patient's sitting posture and take the measurements.